Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about female intensity, how to master her shadows. This video is about how to embrace the delicious power, the delicious beauty of a woman who can get wild or who can go wild. Being wild, you know, this is something really beautiful. Imagine this wild stallion or this wild animal running through the fields. It's a powerful force. It's a force of nature. It's a power to fight, to embrace, to survive in nature. So if you are marrying a woman or you're connecting with a woman for life who has the power to go into intensity and own her fire, she's going to have a much greater chance of survival in life because that intensity might save her, her children, sometimes in difficult situations. The power of accessing your fire is a power that you want to have in life. You know, at least you want to be able to access it at will. It doesn't mean that you live in this fire, in this intensity, in this rage of or wild emotional or energetic intensity. It doesn't mean that you are there all the time. What it means is that if you have to, you know how to access it. You know how to go, ah, ah, you know, into full power. So a woman who knows how to do that, please honor her, respect her, allow her to every now and then go into that space without you freaking out. Sometimes you might meet a lover who goes into wild intensity in the context of sexual exchange. You know, imagine this, you are there having sex and then she goes like, my God, what's happening inside of her? It's like a wild animal. So as a man, as a tantrika, what you want is to be able to position yourself where you embrace, where you receive that kind of energetic emotional intensity because it's a gift for her and it's a gift for you. It's a gift for your relationship. There is fire coming in. It's like her coming with a whole bunch of energy and saying, here, here it is. This is for our relationship. This is for our connection. And if you go like, you know what? Just give me light, fire, poof, too much intensity. No, I cannot take it. I'm not interested in that kind of energy. You are robbing her from the right, from the power to express a very intimate aspect of herself. And so what I invite you to do is like check into this idea of the wild woman. You know, why is it so special? Why are we tapping into that? Because it's an aspect of human nature that has been suppressed for hundreds, thousands of years in our culture. We are not comfortable with all that, you know, nature worship and all these things. And, and why is that? Because within the patriarchal society, we need to keep things safe and in control. And so a woman comes with her wild nature, especially in the context of lovemaking or relationships, and you go like, whoa, no, cut it off, take it away, take it somewhere else. This emotion is not welcome in the context of our couple or relationship. And so here's the thing, it is that sometimes it's nice to have boundaries, sometimes it's good to put them out there. But what is very important is to be, to be like from a place where you know your system can take that energetic intensity and then you are going to honor it in her. When it comes out, you go like, beautiful. Because of that fire, it makes you sexy, it makes you attractive. I feel drawn towards you because I can see that something is happening inside of you that is really powerful and magical. Okay, you get that? Instead of trying to suppress this degree of intensity and putting your partner within the limits and the walls and the boxes that you have ready for her, free her, create space for her, give her the freedom and the liberty to be wild, to be real and to be in her truth. I'll see you soon for another tip.